In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Three Kennedy. shots were fired. President Kennedy has been shot. Pretty powerful stuff. I'm standing here in Dallas at a location that needs no introduction. Dealey Plaza, the site of the JFK assassination. I'm going to go into doco mode now, Brent, so try and keep up. These are the facts. President Kennedy's motorcade turned off Main Street onto Houston. It went along here, turned left onto Elm Street, traveled down here. Three shots were fired, most believe. They came from that window right there, the sixth floor of the Texas Book Depository. The gunman, Lee Harvey Oswald, or was he? Many believe there was a conspiracy. There may have been other people involved. Shots perhaps from over there, the grassy knoll. Follow me. Many people ran across this road when they heard the shots. This is the infamous picket fence on the grass, you know. Many people believe there was a second or perhaps third gunman in this area. Perfect line of sight. There's been no real evidence for that, though. Eyewitnesses would have seen something. There were hundreds of people around here. Some claim they saw puffs of smoke. I personally believe that it was one lone gunman from that window over there, Lee Harvey Oswald. Case closed. But let's meet another expert who knows even more than I do about this. Well, I'm standing with Stephen here amongst history. This is a very um, historic room, Stephen, isn't it? It is. Uh, we're on the sixth floor of the former Texas School Book Depository building here in Dealey Plaza. And right behind us here is the southeast corner where shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade. Let's face it, the whole conspiracy aspect has been a huge part of the Kennedy fascination, and that kind of keeps it alive, doesn't it? It does. It certainly is a murder mystery, and more people believe that the president was killed as the result of a conspiracy than believe that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone. All right, let's, let's stick to the facts we do know. Of course, Kennedy came up Main Street there, mm -hmm. then turned up Elm, and then made this hard right turn right here. Yeah, Main to Houston Street, and then made a left-hand turn onto Elm. And Your it was left, this... my right. Well, same right, yeah. Well, it'd be a left if you were down there, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. The... Be my right. Yeah. Once you come here, it feels fairly obvious that there probably was a lone gunman in that window. Dealey Plaza is uh, relatively small, and there's only 88 yards between this window and the spot where the fatal shot struck Kennedy. And yeah. we have to remember that Lee Harvey Oswald trained in the Marine Corps and did qualify as a sharpshooter. And so for some people, it is so unsatisfying, the idea that this 24-year-old ex-Marine could just get up here with a rifle and kill yeah. the leader of the free world. And so the scales don't balance in that regard. And so they need something like a conspiracy to do justice yeah. to an otherwise meaningless act of violence. Lee heads back down to Dealey Plaza to present another controversial theory. Of course, once the assassination had taken place, I think that's worth mentioning. And one of the other things too was, did he have time to get away? Sure. How much time is he supposed to have had to have done that? 90 seconds. 90 seconds. Yeah, to get from this window all the way across the floor to the uh, northwest corner, yep. stash the rifle down those flights of stairs to the second floor where he was first seen getting change out of his pocket for the Coke machine. And now here's a recreation. He had 90 seconds to get down to the second floor. A lot of people say it can't be done. Tom's down there timing now. Follow me, let's do it. Lee hopes to further the entire JFK investigation with this dramatic experiment. Yeah, I get to the stairwell, I stash my rifle, I keep going down. Floor. All right, how was that? What do you mean? One more time better get. What are you, what are you talking about? Well, you, you were timing me. I didn't know I was supposed to be timing anything. I'm gonna time how long it takes me to get from the uh, sixth floor down to the second floor, okay? Okay. Lee must return all the way back to the sixth floor, making for some labored TV. <sighs> well, Tom's down ready, of course. Okay, we've done the shots. We've got 90 seconds, let's go. Who the boxes? Got my rifle, stash it between these boxes, and I'm down the stairs. The second recreation is going well. Once again, Lee makes it to the second floor. To the second floor. Uh, how was that? Uh, 95 seconds. Well, that's interesting. 95 seconds. So Oswald did it in 90. We know that much for fact. He was 24 years old, and I've done it twice. That's saying something about my fitness. I reckon the first time I was probably about 85. Yeah. I was learning stuff here, that's for sure. And I suppose, really, the whole conspiracy really started when Oswald himself was shot. If he hadn't been, he would have gone to trial and there'd be every chance. This may not be here now. 
Oswald, from the moment he was arrested to the moment he died, said he didn't shoot anybody, he was framed, he was set up. And one wonders what would have happened had Oswald gone to trial, if he would have stuck to that or if eventually he would have admitted some culpability. I certainly believe he was a lone assassin. The circumstantial evidence is huge. Certainly, there is a great deal of evidence that ties Oswald to the act of murdering the president. There are lingering questions about who else may have been involved or other gunmen. Uh, those lingering questions are what keep yeah. people so fascinated in the history and mystery of this event. This keeps going on almost 60 years after the assassination. Amazing how you're literally standing where history took place. It's one of those kind of locations in the world where, you know, everybody remembers where they were when, when JFK got shot. It was yeah. that kind of event, you know? Where were you? What do you mean? When JFK got shot, where were you? I wasn't born then. So you sit here and remembers where they were. Where oh, it's they a figure were. of speech. I mean, like, everybody remembers where they were when the first man landed on the moon. Where were you when that happened? Oh, I wasn't born then either. I'm saying both those events are key events in history. And if you were here then, you would have remembered where you were when they happened. Oh, big events. They were big events. Bigger than a lot of the other events that you're probably going to try and remember in your life. You know, when Justin Bieber video came out or something. I do well, remember that, yeah. Yeah, all some shit on TikTok. Okay, you kind of wrecked it now. Well, this has been pretty fascinating for me, pretty special. I've always wanted to come here and see where all this took place. You know, it's, it's weird. A lot of buildings get torn down where tragedy happened and they're not preserved. They've done a great job here in doing that. So if you ever come to Dallas, be sure to visit the Sixth Floor Museum at Delhi Plaza. Very interesting, fascinating, and they're doing great work. So uh, tell them I sent you.